And as we look at this new web, which is really location independent, and, and which is in many ways temporally independent, we don't really need to be in any specific time sink on, on this web, we have challenges as we look to uh, figure out how to apply regulation that is national by definition, uh, as we look to understand what practices are going to apply to these global information flows as opposed to specifically local ones. As we look at the three topics that we are to address today, privacy, security, and trust, it has already been mentioned that one must understand how to balance. And another way of looking at the balance is one must understand how to optimize, because they're not necessarily trade-offs. There are ways to look at them as mutually beneficial and enhancing, uh, as opposed to trading them off against each other. I think we also have to look at them as essential components of trust. Trust in the way people interrelate with each other, trust in the way a business transaction or commercial transaction may take place, trust in between citizen and government. So these are the hallmarks of the issues that we're looking at. These are some of the challenges that they pose. I want to take one principle out of the OECD security guidelines because I think people have already been uh, talking about it in a certain way. And that principle is the concept that part of the guideline says that in security, uh, there is a role for everyone to take that is appropriate to what they're doing in the, in the context that they're doing it. Um, so there is perhaps a role for the user. There is certainly a role for the provider or the vendor. There is a role for the government in, in these issues. Uh, and when we look at what is appropriate to the role, we have to look at the changing nature of the roles that we have today. We have new types of services that are platforms that are not necessarily easily defined in the models that we look at. We have new ways in which individuals are interacting with these services. In some cases, becoming content creators. In some cases, becoming publishers. In some cases, becoming application developers. And we would have to ask ourselves, is the current legal construct related to the responsibility of actors suited to those people? Or is that, or is that too much of a burden for individuals in that capacity as opposed to commercial entities in that capacity? And those are challenges that we have to pose for ourselves. 